1989, I was graduated from Politic Institute of Kabul with a master's degree. After I finished my master's, I, I migrated uh, to United States, and then I started uh, uh, working in foreign construction and also for an architectural company. Let me tell you why I uh, selected to, or why I chose to become an architect. Uh, when I was going to high school uh, at that time, there were the two best options uh, for the higher study. One was uh, medicine and the second was uh, engineering. Me, and being a doctor, mm, 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 it was not my cup of tea. I hate blood. <laughs> so um, that doesn't mean that I don't respect uh, the profession. I have a great respect for the doctors. But I always was thinking that, and I always think that, Engineering and architecture are a very artistic and creative uh, um, profession. That's why I became an architect. Anyway, as I said it before, I went to United States. I uh, was working. I had a normal life, going to work, coming back, looking after my household, and uh, come to Afghanistan time to time. Each time when I was visiting Afghanistan, I was seeing that women they would have no interest in to become an architect or an engineer. One day I was commuting from my, work to my off, from my work to my home and I was sitting in metro and I was reading a magazine and I saw a list of very successful women over there from across the world. As in a business leader, as in a CEO, as in a um, uh, politicians, as in a religious leader. And after I see the magazine I was wondering what if I one, what if I open a business and I become successful? And I was thinking, what if I go to Afghanistan and start my own business and someday I see my name in this magazine. I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the magazine. But that magazine motivated me and changed my life. My willpower brought me back to Afghanistan. I came to Afghanistan in December of 2009. So after I came to Afghanistan, I started to have my own business. So I opened an engineering construction firm, which is called Z+. Many of my friends and my family were mocking me and making fun of me. They were telling me, no way you can make it. And when I started the business, I was asking help from my family and friends who were already in the business. And I was asking them for help that, please, you know, if you can help me to write my proposal, you know, or some keys or some, you know, that's uh, something that I can be able to uh, win the project, but they were looking at me like I was the waste of their time. No one believed in me, and no one saw any potential in me but myself. So one day I said, like, yeah, what's wrong with you? Why don't you give a shot and write your own proposals? That's what they did. I wrote proposals. I wrote one, two, three. On my fourth one was a hit. I got a project from ISAF. It was a $25,000 project, and I was so happy. I was so proud of myself. I was jumping like, upside down, and I never feel like I jumped too. <laughs> but I still remember that day. So today I can say very proudly that I have a very successful business. I have created more than 500 jobs in the past four years. And the reason I'm sharing my story is that I believe your willpower will drive you towards success. Now I'm coming to my second point, which is unity in the unity of sisters and the power of the unity. I did not stop on my business and I was thinking something is missing. Something is missing. Yes, the support system was missing. So I have decided to give a visit to Polytechnic and also to engineering school and Kabul University. I went there and what I saw, I was surprised. In each class, only one or two or three girls, they were studying architecture and engineering. The percentage of a female student in engineering and architecture dropped dramatically. And I was wondering why. Because I remember when I, at the time I was going to school, 20 to 40 percent of students were women. But now I saw that only a one or two or three or five percent. So I was wondering why, and I was searching, you know, why the percentage was so low. So I finally, I came to the conclusion that the 30 years of war, the 30 years of civil war that we had in Afghanistan, that affect this society, and affect the mindset of women and their confidence. 
I still see a lot of women, even in the, today in the audience, I didn't see anyone saying that I wanted my daughter to become an engineer or an architect, or I wanted my sister to become an engineer and architect, because think, they think this profession is very rough. No, it is the most beautiful profession. It's very artistic. So, uh, as I was saying that, you know, that uh, 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 what I saw and I see that, you know, the percentages are so low. So with a, with a group of uh, female engineers and myself and the network that I had, we started at uh, uh, SEWAC, Society of Afghan Women in Engineering and Construction. And I was elected as a president of uh, SEWAC. The goal was to create a support system. The goal is to encourage Afghan girls to join engineering and architecture school to join the business world. We are focusing to encourage Afghan girls to come to join the school. And also we are training them a soft skill and management skills. We are trying to find them a job. We are trying to find them an internship and a scholarship. Last year there was an opportunity of scholarship and I only found two. Two girls, they were wanted to go for a higher education and from this two only one went. And today, I've, to this year, I found six. That means the number is growing. And this is the power of unity and the power of support system. Now I'm coming to my third point. What is architecture and engineering in Afghanistan and why it is so important? Engineering and architecture paints picture of changing and evolving world. Engineering and architecture will continue in a fast pace and the world is interconnected. Engineering and architecture will impact Afghanistan socially, economically, culturally, and politically. Thank you so much. If there is any question. <laughs>